Okay, so today I'm going to be making chicken cacciatore zero point on Weight Watchers Blue. I'm spraying a deep dish pan nonstick with um, olive oil spray, and I'm going to cook a half a cup, oh, not a half a cup, about a half of a sweet yellow onion and maybe nine garlic cloves. I love garlic, so I use a lot. So I'm gonna cook that really, really quickly in the pan. And I'm gonna also add one good sized bell pepper diced. So we're gonna cook that up a bit. And then I'm going to be adding the chicken. What I have, because it's Weight Watchers, I got it skinless. And it's um, the bone-in chicken. So I have two breasts and two um, legs and thigh combinations. So as soon as I cook this a little bit, I'm gonna add the chicken to it. So I'll be back. Okay, the onion and the bell pepper are cooking nicely, and garlic. I put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Now I'm going to add two cans of 8-ounce canned mushrooms. Now I'm making enough for four people. I mean, probably more than four people. It's a whole chicken cut up with the bone-in skin off. So... That comes to about maybe a half a cup of mushrooms. But I want to put the mushrooms in because I want to get some of the moisture out. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and put them in a little bit. Let them cook up with just a bit. I hope I have room for everything. I might have to switch pans. <laughs> I always say okay every time I turn the camera on, so I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> so now um, we have the mushrooms have cooked up and I want to put the chicken in. So I'm just going to put it in. I'll probably put it, uh, yeah, flesh side down. And I want to get it browned a little bit before I put the sauce in. make room. I had to change pans. The other pan was too small. Should have known. There we go. I just want to get this a little bit brown. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper on the other side. Is kosher salt and then I'm going to put like a tablespoon of flour because if you use a tablespoon of flour it doesn't cost you anything on the blue plan I don't know about the other plans because I'm not on the other plans one of these days if I get time I'll do that but I want to put a little bit of flour to brown it so I'm just sprinkling some on the chicken and one tablespoon, as you can see, is plenty. So when I turn it over, it'll brown a little bit. Also, it'll add to the sauce, make it a little bit thicker, which is what I want to do. So I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes just till it gets brown on one side and then I'm gonna turn it over and then I'm gonna put the sauce in. So I turned the chicken over, it just browned a little bit. If you want, you can skip this part, you don't have to brown it. I just like to brown it a little bit. 
And also I wanted to put a little bit, tiny bit of flour in just to thicken the sauce up. Also, um, just for you Weight Watchers um, people out there, I have um, dark meat in here, but I'm not eating the dark meat. I'm only eating the white meat. The dark meat is for the person I'm cooking with or for. So if you eat the dark meat, it's going to cost you points. So I don't eat the dark meat. I only eat the white meat. The, um, time to put the sauce in now, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Uh, that's about two cups. I'm turn this down a little bit. That was just a little bit left in one of my uh, other the lasagna that I made the other night. So and let's get another two cups. You can put this over pasta, which is the traditional way to make it, or you can put it over rice. Some people even put it over potatoes. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So that's a, a little over four cups of sauce. I think I'm going to put one more jar, which is another two cups in just to cover the chicken. Yeah, that's good. So that's two, four, a little over six cups of sauce. And the recipe for the tomato sauce in my um, previous video. I'll put a link to that if I can figure out how to do it. I'm just getting back into making videos. I haven't done it for a long, long time. So I'm on a learning curve here. Okay, so that's all of that. I'm going to put some basil that I cut out of my garden. Never always a good idea to put anything fresh in here and a little bit more cayenne pepper just a pinch I like it spicy so some more parsley turn this down you want to simmer it but you don't want to boil it so you want to just simmer it on low until the chicken is done and don't ask me when that is that's why I have one of these temperature gaugers. I'll stick that in there in about 30 minutes. And let's see, a little more oregano. Um, and see how it's doing. I was going to make this in a um, crock pot, but I didn't, I wanted to cook down the sauce just a bit. So I thought I'd go ahead and cook it in this instead. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it, turn it down a little more, and then we'll check it and see how it, how it is in about, I don't know, let's say about 35 minutes. Bye. I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes, and I have my little thermometer here. Put it at zero. I'm going to see what it says, it says 170, 173, 174, 176, it's done. So um, it doesn't matter how much you have, so you can have as much as you want because everything is free, um, except for the, if you um, have the dark meat, then you have to count it. So that's it, that's the chicken cacciatore. And I'm just going to make some pasta to put that over. Of course, the pasta counts, but um, then you have your dinner. All right. Hope you have a good night. If you have any questions, please like the video. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and put it down there and I'll get back to you on it. Bye.